the Medbank Cup, UEFA Champions League, the Masters, IPL and Vodacom Super Rugby. Sport and HD made for each other. Spurs, a proud sponsor of Super Sports Let's Play initiative. The Sports Trust continues to honour its promise to build active communities through sports and recreation. We do this by supplying sports kit, equipment and sports facilities to disadvantaged rural communities. We wish to thank our Board of Trustees who continue to give all South Africans a chance to realise their sporting potential. The Sports Trust, helping tomorrow's sports heroes today. Hi there from Elia and Paulik and welcome to this week's Sports Trust update. Good to have you along. Well, you may remember a couple of months back we had uh, quite a colourful crew in the studio. Well, I can tell you that they're all back, wings and all, pink all happening here in the studio and it all revolves around the Unogwaja Challenge which if I can just quickly recap is four guys who are making their way on a bicycle from Cape Town to Durban and they're then going to proceed to run the Comrades Marathon so it's a hectic challenge and they've been uh, frantically training they're doing all of this uh, in conjunction with the Pink Drive and of course Sports Trust is on board as well so it's all very exciting indeed and uh, I can tell you a fair amount of training has been going on in the background but the reason why we have everybody back here again today is because they are a couple of more exciting developments that have taken place. Before we delve into those, let me introduce you to everyone. Uh, on the far side, we've got uh, Professor Andrew Bosch. He is the University uh, of Cape Town and Sports Science Institute uh, representative here today. Welcome to you. Okay. And then we also have the founder of the Pink Drive, Nolene Cotchen. Welcome. Nice to see you. Thanks, Leanne. And then uh, the brave man in the pink bra, John McEnroy, who is at Unogwaja Challenge yes. part two. There we go. <laughs> uh, Prof, let me start off with you. Um, an exciting development, the involvement now of the Sports Science Institute. Um, well, what exactly are you guys bringing to the party? Well, the Sports Science Institute of South Africa and uh, UCT Sports Science is uh, offering uh, nutritional advice about uh, sports nutrition for the, for the event, uh, guidance for, for training yeah. and uh, facilities to try and optimize that training. Okay. And I, I take it things have, have stepped up a level now, John? Cool, a little bit. So, I mean, we've, we've qualified officially for the Comrades now. We did the um, Peninsula Marathon within the, the time that we needed to. And we've, yeah, been basically cycling, running as much as we can. But now it's fantastic to know that what we're doing has a plan to it. In the, in, in the beginning, it was just about getting as much uh, sort of miles under the clock and, mm. and, and, and get as many runs and, and cycles in. But now we've got a bit more of a plan and an idea that this is what you should be doing and this is what you need to be doing to peak. Yeah, come May and, and cross fingers, that's mm. what we'll be doing. <laughs> <laughs> so just a bit more structure, it's, which is great. Exactly. You, you, you like the, the big daddy in the background making sure that everything goes well. Well, that's to what play. you're going to try to do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nolene, if we could just touch quickly on what's been happening from a Umugwaja point of view, Pink Drive, Comrades, there's been a bit of a reshuffle in terms of classification there. Just quickly fill us in on what's happened. Absolutely. You know, when John came to us about the initiative, initially it was about Pink Drive and Sports Trust. We then believe that it was vitally important to collaborate with the other MOBD charities and bring them on board. So, you know, from our side, Leanne, now that there's the five of us and it's under one umbrella, MOBD BD, and we've got the backing of comrades, it's just going to make this whole initiative so much bigger and so much more exciting. Prof, can you quickly just give us a, a couple of pointers on uh, what runners on race day should really keep in mind? Well, on race day itself, is new. I think that's probably the most important thing. What often happens is that uh, people start doing things that they've never tried before and that is definitely uh, something that you should avoid. So everything that you possibly are thinking about doing on race day must be tried out either in training or in some other marathon or some other race sometime before the race itself. Good advice. Nolene, any issues around sponsorship? Is everything sorted or are you still on the lookout? Well, now that it's got so much bigger, Leanne, I mean, we need the sponsors out there. So if there are any businesses, corporates, individuals who would like to get involved with this project, um, you know, there's, there's fabulous brand awareness for those who, who want to get involved. They're welcome to contact me on 083-460-6146 and we'll fly their flags. 
Fantastic stuff. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining me here in the studio today. We're unfortunately out of time. John, best of luck once again. You're doing all the hard work, but it's for a fantastic cause. So well done to you, and I look forward to having you all again soon so we can find out what's happening. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> right, well, that then is a wrap from this week's Sports Trust update. Until the next time, bye-bye. The Sports Trust continues to honor its promise to build active communities through sports and recreation. We do this by supplying sports kit, equipment and sports facilities to disadvantaged rural communities. We wish to thank our Board of Trustees who continue to give all South Africans a chance to realize their sporting potential. The Sports Trust, helping tomorrow's sports heroes today. Spurs, a proud sponsor of Supersport's Let's Play initiative.